Today, uh, I was going to continue with my series of explanation of the du'as in the Salat, which is I recommend that everybody should go and watch them, please, so we can understand what we are saying in our Salat. Then I got this question from few of our youth. And I said, let me answer this question. It will be beneficial for all of us and specifically for our youth. So the question is, Sheikh, if the day of Arafah, Rasulullah Sallallahu he said that it will forgive one year, previous year of sins, and one future year of sins. And Ashura forgives one previous year of sins. So why do I have to fast Ashura? I'm already Arafah took care of it. So you're all laughing. Khalas, forget it. You got the answer. <laughs> By the way, how was the fasting today? SubhanAllah, may Allah reward you and bless you. Allah, 100 degrees and working and all that. There's a few more days left, inshallah, still, specifically tomorrow. Tayyip, how come we fast on Ashura, even though the promise of Rasulullah SAW that Arafah will take care of two years? So why am I doing another day? Number one, how do you know that your Arafah was accepted? Number one, how do you know that the fasting of Arafah was accepted and your previous year of sins and future year of sins are forgiven, you do not know, so fast on Ashura. Second, our duty as believers, our duty as mu'mineen is to follow what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. This is our wajib. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said fast on Arafah and fast on Ashura, we fast on Arafah, and we fast on Ashura. He is the wisest man ever created, and the Sahaba around him, subhanAllah, this question never crossed their mind. Ya Rasulullah, last year you said Arafah will take care of two years, and this year, nobody crossed their mind this question. But because of our shortcomings, these things come to our mind, and because we start bringing logic to our deen. If there is any, if all, all of, if logic is the only thing we should follow, then when we are making masah on the khuf, we should make the masah in the bottom, not on the top. So the second is, Rasulullah said that, if we know the hikmah, we do not know the hikmah, we follow. Third, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, when it came to the Salat, that when you pray, when we pray, ninth of the Salat is accepted, tenth of the Salat is accepted, and so on. The hadith is in Sahih Muslim. Depending on the khushu' and the concentration I did in the Salat, that amount will lead to the acceptance of the Salat. Similarly, the more I put in my fast in the day of Arafah, for example, the, pos the higher the possibility of all the sins are forgiven. If half of Arafah was accepted, half of the sins were forgiven. So I need one more day, Ashura, to continue forgiving the rest of the sins. For example, Rasulullah also said, Rubba Sa'im, there are people who are fasting. All they get from their fasting is hunger and thirst because they were doing, they are fasting. He said he called them fasting person. But during the fast, he did so many things. In Bukhari, Rasulullah said, Man lam yada qawla zur wal amala bih, la haja lillah an yada ta'amaha wa sharabu. Whomsoever does not leave vain and evil talk and acting upon it, Allah does not need his fasting or his leaving his drinking and eating. So similarly, that means the amount you put, the effort you put, the ikhlas you put in the ibadah, the same you will get from the ajr. So maybe my ibadah in Arafah was not fully accepted, so I need Ashura. Number four. Rasulullah Wasallam said, but when we are making wudu, all our sins are dropping. Then he said, from one salat to, all, to the next salat, all sins are forgiven. 
from one Jum'ah to one Jum'ah, all sins are forgiven. If I say Subhanallah wa bihamdi a hundred times, all my sins are forgiven. If I say Alhamdulillah allati at'amani hadha wa razaqanihi min ghayri hawlin minni wa la quwa, after I finish eating, all my sins are forgiven. If my Ameen is equal to the Ameen of the Malaika when the Imam is reciting, all my sins are forgiven. So do I say, you know what? I said Subhanallah wa bihamdi today, why should I pray? A hundred times. I made wudu, my sins are forgiven, so why should I pray? Last Jum'ah to Jum'ah, all my sins are forgiven, so why should I do this? Subhanallah. So similarly, even though insha'Allah ta'ala, your sins were forgiven in Arafah, have more, do more. Just like when you are doing an exam, you have everything good insha'Allah, but then you have that bonus answer, bonus question in the bottom. You answer it to get more credit. Number five, and the last one. Beside, let's assume that the fasting of Arafah was accepted 100%. Tayyib, we are not just fasting to get all our sins forgiven. We are fasting because the reward of fasting is huge. Whomsoever fast one day, this is not a must. You're doing it. You're not doing it as an obligation. Only Ramadan is an obligation. None of that stuff is an obligation. If you do not fast tomorrow, you're not a sinner. You just missed a huge opportunity. So we are fasting because of the reward of fasting is huge. And, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the hadith al-Qudsi, As-siyamu li wa ana ajzi bih. Siyam, fasting is for me, and I reward for it. So not only I'm fasting to get my previous sins forgiven, but I'm also fasting because of the huge reward promised from Allah azza wa jal and by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa of the reward of fasting. And specifically, like I said, you don't have to fast, but you are still doing that reward, doing that ibadah in July, in very long days, in hundred and something degrees. You think this is going to go to waste? Wallahi, the, the, the ibadah and the reward is beyond your imagination. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, he left his food and drink just for me. Subhanallah. And Allah will reward you immensely, bi'ithnillah ta'ala. إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما